welcome back to Houston Live. Taco Deli has been making me drool all afternoon. I mean, okay, they've been serving the community with handcrafted tacos and authentic Mexican flavors since 1999. 1999 feels like just yesterday, doesn't it? <laughs> also, did you know during rodeo season, they're adding two cowboy-themed tacos to their menu with one option perfect for veggie lovers. Joining us now are Taco Deli's co-owners, Roberto Espinosa and Eric Wilkerson. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Okay, it's so interesting meeting you and hearing more more about this backstory. Breaking news, by the way, they now serve margaritas. Y'all got to check that out. Margarita alarm. We should have one. <laughs> should have one this show should have a margarita <laughs> alarm. So how did it all start? How did you two meet and start this company back in 99? Because Houstonians didn't see this shop pop up until what, 2017? Yeah. 2017. Yeah. Exactly. We, uh, so being from Mexico City, I love tacos. Yeah, naturally. And that's kind of how we got started. And Post college, Eric and I actually went to UT at the same time. Okay. Didn't meet till post college, till after I opened the restaurant, and that's how we met, and uh, we became buddies, and we we would. Uh, oh, sorry. You're good. You're uh, good. Yeah. Fix in your mic a little oh, bit. Oh, there look, you are. Look, look at you. Wow. Oh, that's that's yeah. That's going way back. And okay, living in Texas, we're very passionate about our tacos. So you were clearly passionate enough to start this business. Look at you two back then. There you go. Just yeah. just a, a dream and a vision. And then you guys said, how are we going to execute this whole thing? I mean, how did you end up figuring it out and creating something so successful? Uh, well, it takes people. I mean, yeah. it takes a lot of passion and, you know, having friendships like Eric and I have and all the people that have uh, been part of our story along all the years. So okay, so yeah. you're the taco guy, Eric. What guy are you? The idea guy? What, which I, one? I do. We all do it. To, try to do a little bit of everything. Okay. But, uh, but no, I, I I got involved with Roberto just just after uh, uh, he opened up the Spyglass location in Austin. Okay. It was right in the year 2000. I awesome. Was, uh, kind of looking for something different to do. Okay, love, but love, love the food. And, Loving the food and looking for something different to do, though, Eric, I'm impressed that y'all just jumped in and did this because you hadn't done something like this before. So no. what is the recipe oh, recipe for success, aside from having delicious food? Right. You know, I think one of the things that uh, has really, you know, helped our partnership is that we, we, we share the same goals, uh, but we don't have just a ton of competing uh, ideas or strengths. It's more complementary. So we, we've, you know, over the years we've had a chance to work together and um, that just builds confidence. It, uh, it, it gives us um, momentum to kind of keep growing, so. Okay, well, while you're explaining that, I mean, Roberto is just like going to town. I just want to make sure y'all have food. You are working <laughs> this. Now, okay, tell us what you got. These are rodeo themed tacos. What makes them so rodeo? Uh, well, the cowboy taco um, is what kind of originated all this. And I have to give credit to uh, Robert Del Grande because apparently I, I came across a rub recipe that was uh, coffee, brown sugar, salt, and pepper. Okay. And uh, I learned about it post fact that he had actually created it for Cafe Annie. So there's a little connection there. Uh, and we, we use that on, on beef tenderloin. Okay. And we sear it. And then we put a little guacamole and then a little queso fresco on top. You've got the veggie version of that, which is the portobello mushrooms with the same it? roasted peppers. So roasted red bell peppers, roasted poblanos, caramelized onions, and then the guac and queso fr uh, fresco for the garnish. It is packed with flavor. And thank yeah. you for doing a vegetarian option because sure. a lot of people say it's hard to find veggie options in town. People love this menu item, yeah? They do. We have a pretty good segment of our menu that's vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Some vegan, some just veg, but uh, people do gravitate to it. Uh, we've had customers that come just for that. Uh, we have non-veg folks that come in and eat veg items. That's, I was so, just going to say that. Yeah. As someone who is, a, I mean, a meat lover, of course, I love my beef. When there is a nice veggie option on the menu, I always go for it. Because when are you going to get veggies cooked a certain way, made in a style that you like? I mean, I go for it every time. If, I sure. see, if it's available, I go for it. Also, how excited are you guys about being in uh, grocery stores like Whole Foods and HEB now? It's been a great experience. We've, we've uh, worked really hard at it. We've worked uh, for years to get into both of those locations, and we're really fortunate that uh, they've accepted our product and the customers are buying it. Yeah. So that's the most important thing, right? Well, it's delicious. What kind of products do you have in the stores? Well, we've, they've, uh, our salsas, our uh, black bean dip, our queso. Yeah. Um, at Whole Foods, we have the uh, tortillas and the tortilla chips. Uh, we just launched a new um, flavor of chunky salsa, uh, and they carry those as well. So 
You guys are taking over the world. <laughs> By the way, don't mind me. I just wolfed that down. You wow. want, that you want another goodness. one? Yeah, I, well, I have one right here. <laughs> I can work on that. So if someone wants to saute uh, some vegetables at home and try to create this flavor at home, can they do it? Like what? Oh, sure, absolutely. Think? So the the roasted uh, peppers are roasted and then uh, you know they're deseeded and peeled, uh, and then we dice them up and then we caramelize onions, which kind of gives it another dimension, of course. Uh, and then the the portobello mushrooms are roasted in the oven, but you can just as easily saute them on a on a on a cast iron or in a skillet, and just bring it all together. And for me, the magic is the guacamole. It's got a little zinc to it. It's got a little spice. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, also, you know, the salsa. Look, I took a bite without the salsa. It was amazing. You, the salsa really takes it to another level. You guys don't believe in not making anything from scratch. That stuff is being made in in house. We make. That's that's kind of one of the things that we really. That's the hill we die on, if you will. Um, it's a good. We make everything <laughs> in scratch from scratch in every kitchen. Right. Uh, our teams are very talented. And they they know how to. Uh, work with food. They're 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 passionate. Uh, our kitchen managers, some of them, have been with us 17 years. Uh, so it's uh, it just it just you love food, you're gonna do it right. 17 yeah. years too. Yeah. That says a lot about your company and your <clears throat> philosophy. If you can keep employees for that long. Two quick questions because we're out of time. Do you marinate the uh, mushrooms before you cook them? No, just salt and pepper. Just salt. It's like a steak. Just okay. Steak. Last question about the margaritas. Yeah. Give it. Give us the beans. <laughs> Uh, very meat. strong, so be okay. careful. Uh, okay. but, but that should kind of bring you in, but they're really delicious. We make everything from scratch as well. Make, make some, the simple syrup for the, for the margs, both the rocks and the frozen. You can do a swirl with our agua frescas. Uh, uh, sometimes we'll do a special that will kind of create a special agua fresca to blend in. But, but just the rocks and frozen are just spectacular. They're oh. really good. Yeah. So, Fresh, you know, we squeeze every lime in the restaurant. We don't buy it pre pre squeezed. Love that. Um, so it's fresh and it's they're delicious. Okay. Wow. Well. Squeezing every lime. Whoever does no. that job deserves a raise. <laughs> yes, yeah, so two limes and I'm like, ow, ow I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, Roberto, amazing. Eric, thank you so much for coming by. Thank y'all so Thanks much for having us. Thank this was so good. Okay, here is the address on your screen, 1902 Washington Ave. But y'all, where the Whole Foods is at Post Oak and San Felipe, that is opening when, guys? End of May, June ish. May, June? Yeah, a yeah. couple months. Okay, yeah. so keep an eye out there. Uh, meet Tessa and me there at the bar for That's a market. Right. Uh, <laughs> That's right. That's right. That is a reminder. So Please come. You can get Please these come. special rodeo tacos from now until March 17th. We have shared a link on our website. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section yeah. at HoustonLife.tv. If, if you ask at the counter, you buy one, get one. So if you order a cowboy and you say, I want the special, you'll get the Space Cowboy for free. Ooh, that's a good little hack. Yeah, that's okay. a killer deal. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing right. more I love than going to break when, like, I'm just ready to eat the rest. I, I'm, I cannot wait <laughs> like, for a break. I to am eat the rest so of excited this. for a commercial. Please stay with us, though, because coming up, we're going to head over.